All right, guys, we just arrived here in Benderma, and as our tour guide uh, in Istanbul told us that uh, every city in Turkey has a uh, Ataturk statue mm -hmm. and an Ataturk uh, street or road, uh, this is the, uh, I've been calling it different names, but what did we say? Edo? 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 Edo, I think. The Edo uh, station where we just arrived by ferry from Istanbul. If you're curious, check that out. But we're gonna head towards our hotel, which is actually just a couple minutes up the road. Uh, it seems like a pretty uh, short walk for us. I'm hoping I can just see it from here, but uh, we're gonna kind of head out, see if we can find a sidewalk and uh, safely navigate uh, the few minutes walk up to our hotel. As we just got to our hotel, it was actually only a, like a two minute walk from the port, which is really awesome. Uh, the woman's just taking our passport information and uh, getting us checked in. I'm going to make a, a video of the room uh, when we get up there, so if you're curious, check that out. But uh, yeah, it was really uh, awesome. If you plan to uh, take that ferry to here and then move on further, and you want to stay a couple nights, uh, so far this hotel, at least the lobby, has been impressive, and this was one of the best reviewed uh, hotels in the city here. So uh, it's a bit pricier, but we're going to stay four nights before we move on to our next Airbnb and uh, it should be worth it, I think. Well, we successfully navigated our way to our hotel after we took the ferry. We got all our stuff put away. Uh, there's not really any way for us to prep meals there, although there is, like I was saying, the um, restaurant that's open to guests only, breakfast included. Uh, I guess maybe I didn't mention that. That might have been in my other video for the room. But uh, the hotel includes breakfast and uh, and also there's a restaurant that's open for guests only and so we can get meals there which is great. But we figured what we would do now is uh, kind of go walk around and we would, uh, here's a nice fountain here, we would try to go find a little uh, shop and get some snacks for in the room, maybe a little bit of bread, some different treats or something, and just kind of get an idea of feeling for the area. I gotta say, it's super uh, relaxed vibe here so far, huh? Mm -hmm. Like it's, yeah, there's so much more space to move about and uh, very relaxing. It looks like there's a big square just across here. We'll cross over here and check it out. Well, I was saying it's a much more relaxed vibe here and I don't feel as uh, overwhelmed as in Istanbul, but we were already uh, hawked down by a guy who saw us and, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. And uh, where are you from? as soon as they say, where are you from? Like, I'm not trying to sound rude or anything. I, I understand that they're trying to grind and they're trying to make money, but it's just an introduction so that they can then say, come to my shop or come to my uh, carpet store. Right, this guy in particular was trying to sell perfume. Yeah. You want perfume, so uh, there's a time and a place where you have to you have to put your foot down. And you have to tell them no, thank you, um, please. I'm trying to go and and maybe just politely tell them, look, I, uh, I I'm not interested in what you're peddling, uh, but have a good day, you know. Because if you stop and if you engage with them, it's gonna be they're gonna make it harder for you to walk away. They're gonna you know start to get a little oh, well, my family, I need to feed my family and things of this nature. I digress on that, but uh, just be ready for that. Like, uh, here's an example. Um, these guys in Istanbul with the shoe clean, with the shoe brushes that uh, the polish that polish your shoes. What they'll do is they'll watch for. Uh, this is kind of like a scam thing, but they'll watch for you, and as soon as you walk up, they'll drop their brush, right? And you think you're being polite. You're like, oh, you dropped your brush. So then what they do is they play this whole like, uh, I'm gonna do you a favor. Oh, you pointed out that you that I dropped my brush here. Let me let me polish your shoes real quick. So they make they give you the idea that they're doing it as a favor for you. And as they're as they're polishing your shoes, which they're not, they're just putting dirty soap water onto your shoes. Uh, there are legitimate shoe polishers yeah. in Istanbul. Great, really neat setups. Yeah. So I definitely recommend those guys. But there's then this is the other side, the right. scam side of it. For sure. So then there's these guys who have uh, just like dirty water in a in a plastic cup and like a a shoe brush and anyway so anyway he gets to talking to you where are you from and and uh oh i have a family to feed and then all of a sudden when he's done he's like yeah you owe me uh 90 lira or something to that effect which is just 
asinine, but uh, but then you just have to be firm with these guys and tell them, look, you know, I'm I'm good and thank you. So anyway, yeah, you just got to put your foot down and be firm with them and let them know uh, that, uh, like, we just walked off. We didn't pay the guy. Like, he totally tried to scam us. And uh, so I just ended up walking Actually, off. Actually, we tried to pay the guy. And yeah, I did try to pay him. what we were paying him. That's He's true. To, for like three minutes of work, he was saying like, you know, 90 lira, which is... It was like I 10 mean, bucks. I don't make that kind of money in yeah. three minutes. Here comes a military jet flying into here. Must be... I know there's an airport, but I don't know if it's specifically a military uh, installation there. Yeah, if you do the math on that, like, that's a lot. They're They're trying to make like several hundred dollars an hour at 90 lira in like a two before like a two minute job so just be aware of things like that uh like she said we tried to give him some money and he was being greedy and asked for uh like a ridiculous amount so uh, i walked off and he knew he was scamming us so he didn't even make a fuss he just stood there and watched us walk away and like unfortunately that's what you have to do uh, if you're not willing to you're going to be taken advantage of but uh anyway we're just walking down this Oh, I want to call this a pier. What do you think? Yeah. Or Is it a pier? Maybe a, a break or... A break? A, certainly not a boardwalk, I would imagine. Something like... It's a stone walk. <laughs> There's a, watch your step, guys. <laughs> We're going to head out here to the end and uh, give you guys a view back uh, of Vanderma here. Well, this goes on for quite a ways. Maybe some other day we'll walk down there since we're really just kind of relaxing here as we move along. Sorry if it's super windy, but uh, there's uh, quite a bit of uh, town to walk through before it gets dark. We need to hurry and maybe find some food to eat. And uh, I figured if we keep walking down there, we're going to lose a lot of light. So I wanted to head back over this way and maybe find a little village and show you some of the little shops along the way before it gets too dark. Little art installation here. Just off of that uh, rock break that jetted out there was this nice boardwalk here. And uh, there's a bunch of workout stations, which is really cool. It's, a, like I was saying before, pretty relaxed vibe. Bunch of lazy dogs laying over here. Uh, we have been uh, stopped by one guy who uh, was trying to sell us cologne, I think she mentioned. But uh, a couple of young girls tried to stop us, too, and I was actually recording and walking and... Uh, and I wasn't really sure what she was trying to stop me for, so we kind of just kept going. She might have just been a young lady trying to uh, communicate in English and practice her English with us. But so far, it hasn't. Uh, we, we don't feel like we're being solicited, <laughs> unwanted uh, too much, and uh, people don't seem to be too pushy. There was a, a bunch of those jets that came in, which is interesting. Like I was saying, there must be a military base or something, or at least they're utilizing the airport that's here for uh, military purposes. But it looks like as we go along, there's just more workout stations and uh, little statue installations. There's these really neat little like shade Ramada benches, which is really cool. So you can come uh, with your old lady or your buddies and kind of just sit and maybe it's sprinkling and you can just relax right there. Oh, looks like they got a little dog run right there too. I don't know that this one's functioning, but I saw on uh, television or some program that they have these uh, recycle posts where you put your recyclable uh, material in there and then it kicks out some like dog food for the animals that are strays here. Oh, here comes another jet. What's he got going? A little, little sideways action. I saw another jet actually just, he was kind of zooming in and out of these buildings here. Wow, he's close down there. That airport must be close. There he goes. Neat uh, fortress type walls here, but I thought these uh, reoccurring uh, pattern on the ground was really neat. This guy's like the dog wrangler over here trying to wrangle all these dogs up, I believe. Maybe he's going to feed them. Well, we haven't found our little market yet, but we figured we'd come down this little uh, shopping plaza here and uh, check it out. Pretty relaxed. No one's, uh, you know, everyone's kind of just checking us out as we go by and there's no like high pressure to come into the stores, which I always appreciate. I mentioned before in one of my videos, I uh, have a bit of anxiety, so it's kind of hard for me to go out sometimes and I, I get overwhelmed and to be able to just kind of walk along and do what I want to do without being uh, interrupted uh, is always very comforting for me. But uh, it's very nice here. Little street musician back there jamming out. 
I'm gonna see about uh, finding this little market so we can get some snacks and then uh, hopefully we can give you guys an idea of some of the prices when we get back to our rooms there. All right, we successfully found a little shop, got us some snacks, and just behind us is a little like kebab type shop. And I saw the prices weren't too terrible. We're gonna stop in there and grab some food. And before it gets too dark, uh, head back to our hotel room, give you an idea of how much we paid for our snacks and how much we paid for our meal. Quick view from our hotel here before my uh, phone dies. I did shoot a video of this hotel if you're curious, check that out. But uh, I was saying I wanted to cover the price of this stuff that we got. So we've got a 10 liter water. We've got some raisins and assorted mix. We figured we'd mix those together in one, kind of have like a trail mix thing. We got some popcorn. We got a um, pack of plates, which also came with a couple napkins, a couple of silverware, and a couple of cups. The reason we got those was because we got these uh, four cup noodles, which we have uh, the kettle here, and we'll boil the water, make cup noodles for uh, the evening. And also, uh, this one goes out to my boy Chris. If you see these cookies, you have to get some because they are delicious. And so all of that stuff was 73 Turkish lira, and that was uh, roughly 950, I believe. And then we grabbed some hot food on the way back. So we got these, um, I think it's a beef um, uh, doner as they call them. So those, I got a larger one, Rachel got a smaller one, and we also got some french fries. And that came out to 53 Turkish lira, which was, if I remember correctly, uh, roughly 650. So a single person could spend, you know, $3 for a meal, and the two of us got a nice uh, couple of nice warm sandwiches with some fries for uh, less than $7, which I think is great, considering we're staying in the hotel. Like, we can just go grab some cheap food real quick. And, uh, yeah, so I just wanted to give you guys an idea of that. Thanks for coming along on our walk today. I'm going to cut this off and uh, get it uploaded for you guys, and we're going to relax in our first night here in the hotel.